Well, hello, my dear companions. Welcome back to Doki Doki Blue Skies Part 6. It's time for the festival. It's the day of the festival. Let's just continue. The preparations for the event should be nearly complete. Yeah, we spent some time with Yuri last time to prepare for the decorations. Uh, given all the work everyone's put in over the weekend. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry and I gently rolled it up to take with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything and I reassured her. I smiled, putting my phone away. Her personality even shows through her texts. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. We're both really excited. Uh, I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with you. Oh, okay. But no, Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. It's been a while though. Where's Sayori? Yeah, we know about Sayori. Please don't be as the original. We're meant to walk together, but she's late again. I don't want to leave her behind, but if it takes much longer, I'm going to be late for school. More time passes. It's going to be a moment of decision soon if she doesn't arrive. Just as I'm getting really ready to leave, I find a spotter slowly making her way down. She's carrying a large sack in her hands and I'm surprised she isn't running over to me. Isn't she aware of how late she is? Sayori, where have you been? We could have been, we could have been late to school, for school. Oh, maybe the, maybe it's uh, heavy. Oh, sorry. I am um, overslept. Or couldn't decide what to have for breakfast again. <laughs> she immediately pouts. Such a meanie sometimes. You know, my teasing is all in good fun, right? She mumbles something under the, her breath. Of course. It looks like she's back to her normal self again, a definite relief, a definite relief. I felt a little guilty in not, sp in not spending Sunday with her, but then again, it was probably wise to give her space. Then again, Yuri also needed help. I point to the sack she's carrying, which contains an assortment of colorful little gift bags. Yeah, she was preparing the gift bags, I remember. Are those the gift bags you were working on over the weekend? Yep. I managed to get everything we need. Candy, quotes, and bookmarks. It was a lot of fun. Although it was kind of hard to stop myself from eating. <laughs> yeah, I think she took a treat. And did you manage? People won't notice. Of course. People won't notice if a sweet or two is gone. It goes missing, right? Yeah, that's Sayori. I'm glad you're feeling better today, Sayori. And I'm sorry if I was a bit too invasive on Friday. I just was... I just worry a lot, that's all. It's okay, Zalzar. It really is. It's sweet that you were concerned. But yeah, I'm fine. Just a little... Oh, no, not the rain clouds. Not the rain clouds. Although I'm kind of nervous for the festival. Honestly, I don't blame you for that. It's kind of nerve-wracking, isn't it? I mean, I know how much it means to Monica, but at the same time, I don't really realize how intim intimidating reciting poetry to a bunch of strangers can be. Yeah, I was all for it back in the club room, but now the actual day is, day is here. She looks a little nervous. I reach over and give her a squeeze on the shoulder. We'll be fine. Don't worry. I don't know how much you like poetry, plus your poems are great. I just hope my own poem performance is up to standard. Don't be silly, Salsar. They'll love your poem, I just know it. I chuckle in admiring the definite optimism that really makes Sayori. Well, Sayori. Guess we'll find out. So the festival is during the daytime, okay. By the way, are you go doing anything after the festival? Anything fun? Nope, I haven't really planned for that that far ahead. I'm not great at doing that, anyway. I'm kind of hoping we finish early so we can have the rest of the day off, to be honest. 
So what are you really saying is that you just want to go home and sleep? <laughs> oh, look at how, how how many students there are. How many clubs they are having? They're all little. Living. What? Oh uh, yeah, to, ch to change topic. <laughs> Our school is in sight, and there's a lot of students milling around. It's a little strange to think that so many fellow students around, yet I've still been feeling so lonely. Or at least before joining Literature Club. Times like these make me grateful as Seori told me about the club in the first place. I don't know, probably quite a few. By the way, Seori... What's up? I just wanted to say... No matter how this festival goes, I'm really grateful you told me about your club and let me join. I've had a lot of fun so far. I scratch the back of my head nervously as Sayori looks curiously at me. I've never been good at expressing myself and it probably shows. I guess what I'm trying to say is... Uh, thank you. It's been f so fun being able to spend time with you again too. It really takes me back. You don't have to thank me for anything, silly. I've enjoyed it too. After all, it would be lovely if things could go back to how they were used. Yeah. I know you want that, but we're going the Yuri route <laughs> for this series, so... How they used to? What do you mean? And nothing. Strange choice of words. What could she be me mean by this? As we enter the courtyard and make our way to our meeting room, she breaks the silence by giggling. Something funny? Just thought of a way to steal. Just thought of a way to steal one of Nati's cupcakes without her realizing. Are you sure that's a good idea? Natsuki might be a little, might be little, but you know better than I do that she can be really fiery. Don't worry about her. She might seem a little mean on the outside, but she's harmless. Don't let her fool you. Well, I'd rather her. I'd, I'd rather her than me. Okay. Zaza, Zayori, it's good to see you guys. Do you mean? Do you uh, want to come and give me a hand? Monica's music. Like it. Monica's placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. <laughs> Must be the ones she prepared that has all the poems we were performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. Hey. <laughs> Love the remix of the song. Uh, hey, do you guys want to check up on the pamph out check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. Put down the banner I'm holding and grab one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Yeah, they really did. Mm -hmm. They look really pretty. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flip through the pages. Each member's poems is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognized the girls' poems from the ones that performed during our practice. Just then, Natsuki burst into the room carrying a box that positively, positively towers over her. Cupcake time. Yuri trails in behind her, clutching an, a, uh, at a large duffel bag nervously. Alright, it's festival time! Why you guys got here before me? I, I thought I was pretty early. I'm sorry for being the last one here. I'm glad that so some preparation is already underway though. It should take less time to set everything up this way. Yeah, let's work hard together, everyone. Natsuki unpacks her box to reveal four trays of cupcakes stacked carefully on top of each other. <laughs> so we're just gonna take one. Talsar! And jump at the sudden outburst. Yeah? Help me lay out these cupcakes. Uh, then if you wouldn't mind... Sayori, could you help me with these? 
Yuri gestures at her bag, to which Sayori nods cheerfully. Everything is going fine so far. Just need to save. So we don't mess anything up. I help Natsuki with the cupcakes while Yuri and Sayori start putting up decorations. Meanwhile, Monica continues to put putting down pamphlets. It isn't long before Natsuki has carefully arranged her cupcakes in a neat formation. Each cupcake is topped with white icing and some kanji written uh, in a variety of different colored frostings. Wow, these look really good. Great idea to make them literature club themed as well, Natsuki. Yeah, it was a good idea, huh? I wrote down words that specifically have to do with poetry in our poems, too. She picks up a cup cupcake to show me. See? This one says create. Isn't that the kanji for use? She messed up. <laughs> she messed up. Is Ayurin? Is Natsuki? As Natsuki furiously shakes over the rest of her cupcakes to look for more miswritten characters, I glance over at Sayori and Yuri. Yuri is on the floor, painting her inspirational quote on the banner in white paint. Uh, I guess she figured out where I put the banner herself. Meanwhile, Sayori is hung up. Sayori is hung up. The kanji curtain in the doorway and it and is puzzling over the essential oil setup. A good writer possesses not only his own spirit, but also the spirit of his friends. Uh -huh. Yes, it's quote by the German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche. Friedrich Nietzsche. I butchered that name, sorry. <laughs> uh, seems like a f pretty fitting quote. Yes, I thought that would be summarize our experiences in the club quite well. I'm finished with the lettering, so if you wouldn't mind, Selsa, uh, that is, could you help hold my chair steady as I pin this up? Of course. You puts the chair up to the front of the classroom and climbs onto it, uh, teetering slightly. She grips the banners tightly in her hands as she reaches up to attach it to the wall. Something's gonna happen. The chair gives a threatening wobble, but w luckily I managed to steady it. Ah. It's okay, Yuri. I've got you. You don't have to. Uh, to uh, you don't have anything to worry about. Uh, thank you. Is it just me, or does she look like she's starting to blush now? I feel my cheeks begin to heat up as well. I didn't say anything weird, did I? When I help her down from the chair after she finished, she looks more bashful than ever. Man, how do I always make things so awkward? It looks like all the preparations are almost finished now. I feel like there's something missing though. Suddenly, I notice a large bag sitting forlorn, forlorn, forlornly by itself to the side. That's Sayori's, isn't it? Yeah, the goodie bags. The goodie 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 bags. Sorry, did you forget to set up your part? Ah, did I? I? I did. She rushes over to the bag and quickly empties it out. It's full of small, colorful bags tied shut with thin ribbons. Yeah, the ribbons. Ah. Don't worry, I'll help you. We start organizing the goodie bags in neat rows on the desks closest to the door. I peek inside one of them as we do so. You can take a bag if you want. Inside the bag I find candy, stickers, inspirational quotes from poems on, on some sort of cardstock, and bookmarks. That's good, that's a good uh, gift bag. Looks like there's a good mix of things in here. I chose only the best candy for the festival. And the best quotes. The best bookmarks as well. You betcha. <laughs> Everything is going so fine, so I have a feeling something's bad. Something bad is gonna happen during the festival. Uh, take a candy, yes. Sayori really does have a good taste. Uh, the chocolate and tof tof toffee it seems to melt on my tongue. Can I have one too, Salsar? Can't resist those puppy dog eyes. <laughs> Thanks, you're the best. 
Oh, look at that. That looks lovely. That is beautiful. The classroom is now darkened and lit up by the ambient lighting of the candles. That's beautiful. The delicate floral scent wafts through the air, courtesy of Yuri's essential oils. Sayori and I head towards the other three girls who are huddled near the front of the classroom, murmuring to each other. Is it about time to start yet? Oh, creepy. Almost. We wrote that we were going to start at 10 a.m. on our poses and that's in 10 minutes. I like the darker colors now. Are people actually going to show up? Don't be so negative. Some people have shown up already and I'm sure that more will file in soon. You guys don't have to be worrying so much about it. I've got full faith in all of you. As in all of your poems, it's been amazing watching each and every one of you find and nurture your unique writing styles. She smiles encouragingly at each of us. To her credit, her words are helpful. Even though I haven't been part of this club for as long as the other three. Even Sansar? <laughs> Natsuki! <laughs> that was a joke, jeez. Thought some humor would lighten the mood. Sorry, just trying to make sure everyone's in the best frame of the mind before we start. It's okay, Monica. We all understand and appreciate that. Yeah, we know how much this call means to you. I want to be a success to be I want it to be a success just as much as you do. Couldn't have put it better myself, even though I've only been in the club for a few days, yeah. <laughs> I've felt really at home. Truth be told, I used to be kind of lonely. Knowing that I'm included in something with people like you guys always make me feel makes me feel better. I haven't told anyone about how lonely I've been feeling. I'm a little nervous about how they react. They all turn to me, varying degrees of emotion on their faces. Natsuki impassively looks to the side, while Natsuki and Yuri gives me an expression of concern. Sansar, I had no idea you felt that way. I'm sorry. I really hope we can change that. I'm so glad you feel welcome here. It's ex exactly what we wanted. Every everyone seems happy so far in the story. Nothing bad has happened so far. I agree. No one should feel alone. I know it's quite a difficult thing to experience. I feel a warm flush of gratitude at their words. Thank you, guys. That means a lot. Also, Monica, I told Sayori this earlier and I figured you might appreciate hearing this. Hmm? Well, no matter how the festival goes, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you. Thanks to you guys, that lonely feeling has disappeared. You've all been so welcoming and accepting and believe me, I'm really appreciative of that. So even if this event doesn't quite go as planned, just know that I really love it here and I'm so glad Sayori told me about this club. If others don't like what we have here, well, it's their loss, right? <laughs> the girls nod in agreement, smiling at me. I had no idea my words would have such an impact, but I'm glad they did in the end. It feels so rewarding to be able to give back to the club for change. Monica turns to me, eyes shining with appreciation. Thank you, Salsa. You're right. Hearing those words from a newcomer really makes me feel like I'm succeeded in my goals as president. After all, I wanted to create a place where people can feel comfortable and share literature, and what you've just said makes me feel like it was all worth it. She turns to face the others. See, guys? If we could show Salsa how amazing this club is, who's to say we can can't show the other students the same thing? Don't see them as strangers. See them as potential club members. She's definitely got an inspiring way to build words. Good thinking. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, don't say that. <laughs> She's gonna jinx it. Yeah, yeah, but if they say something, anything bad about my cupcakes, I'm gonna kill them. 
Yuri giggles softly. I guess Yuri like that. I won't lie to you, I'm still quite nervous. But after hearing what you said, Salsa, I realized that there might be other lonely people out there. This club would be a perfect place for them. Yeah, we might need, we might even find more manga enthusiasts. <laughs> Natsuki would love that. That's the spirit. Now let's go and show the rest of the school what the literature club is made of. As if on cue, a few people wander into the room, curiously looking around the room. Oh, Mon are we gonna have... The thing is, we're gonna... I don't know. Because it said in the story, in this mod, when I wrote, uh, read about it, and we saw in the very first video too, there are more people introduced in this story. But we haven't seen them for several episodes, so I'm, I don't... I don't... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, Monica Conf... Mm, confidently walks over and greets them. And so it begins. We're gonna save here. Not gonna mess anything up. Monica and Sayori has, have greeted the newcomers and settled them in desks throughout the classroom. Some people are already helping themselves to cupcakes and I notice not keep keeping <laughs> Yeah. Meanwhile, Yuri is nervously looking through her pamphlet. I can see her soundlessly mouthing the words to her poem. Now that I think of it, if you think about it, I should be getting some extra practice in as well. Before I can do so though, Monica heads back towards us with Sayori in tow. Showtime everyone! Let's do this guys! Time to get this over with. I can do this. We group up and stand together at the front of the classroom. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Monica steps up to the podium and clears her throat, drawing the room's attention to her. Okay, everyone. Welcome to the Literature, Club, Literature Club's poetry performance. My name is Monica, as some of you may know. Some girls sitting near the front of the classroom wave at her. And I'm the president of the club. Accompanying me is the vice president, Sayori. Hi, guys. And the rest of us, our club members, Yuri, Natsuki, and last but certainly not least, Zalza. We all wave back at the students with varying degree of enthusiasm. <laughs> I hope that all you all enjoy our poetry and that'll, that'll be able to help contribute to a memorable festival. Literature is amazing in its ability to connect us to the human condition, and we really hope that this event, event will help encourage others to start practicing as well. Our club will gladly welcome any new members, from those who love words and writing as well, to anyone who's simply just curious and wants to learn more. After the scheduled performances, we'll be opening up the stage for anyone else who wants to perform, so don't be shy. Uh, shy. And now, without further ado, I'll be starting with my poem, The Way They Fly. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri and I head off to settle down in the frontmost desks, saving these seats seat at the end for Monica. She stands there, alone, yet still radiating confidence. After flashing a smile and a wink at us, she begins. Each word is crystal clear and exudes emotion. Exu exudes emotion. Somehow, her recitation is even better than it was only a few days ago. She must have practiced hard to try to achieve perfection. The classroom is silent at first, drinking in her words. After a few moments, however, some whispering starts up in the back of the classroom. I guess that's the inevi that's inevitable, inevitable, but it still doesn't make it any less annoying. Yeah, shut up if someone is performing. <laughs> I exchange exchange a look with Natsuki who rolls her eyes at disruptions. Seori pats my hand and gives me an encouraging smile. She's comforting, as always. As Monica's poem progresses, more and more people wander in. Normally this would be a good thing, but they're making a they're making a lot of noise. <sighs> they don't care about the pause, they just want the gift bags, the goodie bags and the cupcakes. Thankfully they simmer down once they realize Monica's speaking, but the damage has already been done. She reaches the end of her poem, the last few words resonating 
in the classroom. A round of applause filled the room and Monica beams at everyone, patiently waiting for them to finish. Thank you for listening everyone, I hope you enjoyed my poem that, that it gave you a flavor of what this club is, is like. For the newcomers, welcome. We're just in the midst of showing you in all of our poems. For the benefit of those who have just joined, she quickly reintroduces everyone. She's doing this perfectly so far. Anyway, up next is Natsuki. Take it away. Here we go. Natsuki stumbles slightly as she makes her way to the front of the class. I guess the nerves are really getting to her. Doesn't help that someone snick sniggers. Sniggers? Uh, causing her to turn to, uh, to glare at them. Uh, Sayori seems to be not seems to notice too, as she hastens hastens to shoot Natsuki a reassuring smile. Natsuki stands at the front of the classroom with her poem in hand, slight traces of irritation still visible on her face. <laughs> she's gonna she's gonna break. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so my poem is called Jump. She takes a deep breath and begins a reci recital. Just as I was hoping, she's able to inject her trademark bouncy style into the performance, bringing the words to life. She doesn't quite radiate the confidence Monica did, but her unique style shines through, giving the poem a flow and rhythm. While simple, it's effective. My heart sinks as I start picking up on the newcomers having their own conversations in the back. Oh, I hate when people do that, like do this. I hate it. I'm hit with a surge of anger. How can they be so inconsiderate? It's clear that they aren't paying any attention and from the pause and change in Natsuki's tone. She's clearly picked up. Oh, she's gonna say something. Why can't they just save their stupid selfish conversation for after our performances? Her poem comes to an end, but unlike with Monica's, there's a slight awkward moment of silence. Once again, there's a sound of applause. There's a round of applause. But it's clear that the audience, this engagement, isn't quite as strong. Great performance, Natsuki. I really like the rhythm of that poem. Natsuki forces a smile and makes her way back to her seat. It's clear she's upset. Anyway, our Vice President Sayori is next to the perform. Hi hey everyone, I hope you like my poem. <laughs> her sheerly... She sheerly skips up to the front, poem in hand. As she turns to face us, she looks a little nervous, fidgeting slightly. Eh, sorry, I'm a little nervous. It's okay, Sayori. Just remember what we practiced. I've got full faith in you. Yeah, you got this. This one's called My Meadow. She begins her poem. Her soft voice guides us through the recital, and there's a remarkable... Uh, contrast between her cheerful inflection and the more bittersweet nature of the words. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice people casually flicking cupcakes and wrappers onto the floor, along with candy wrappers lying on their tables. Worse still, the talking is getting louder and more noticeable. I really hate when people do like this. In festivals or uh, recitals or you know, presentations. <sighs> Monica looks around at the perpetrators, frowning at them. One of the students let out a loud yawn, making absolutely no effort to hide it. Come on, they're just making fun of us. Some of the students. Another student picks up one of the coats and nudges her friend. They both frown and laugh at the message. I get the horrible feeling it's more the mocking kind of laugh. At this point, I'm seeing red. If we were we were in school, I would have punched these those these inconsider, inconsiderate pricks by now. No one should be this rude to Sayori. She's probably the sweetest person I've ever met. Despite the now obvious disruptions, she's still trying her best and is making a real effort to continue. To her credit, her performance is still com uh, commendable. She manages to work the contrast of her enunciation against the words in her favor. It adds an interesting depth to the poem. I'd love to see more of this side of her. To her. 
she brings her performance to a close. Okay, hands shaking slightly. We have two more people to go though. A lovely poem, Sayuri. You really brought that one to life. Thank you. Something's off with her voice. It's like how she was on Friday. Monica stands up, turning to, to address everyone in the room. Just a little polite reminder that it would be much appreciated if everyone could give us our, our poets some respect while they're performing. Damn. Monica looks stern, while Natsuki looks positively <laughs> furious. Thank you. Now the stage is all yours, Yuri. Yuri is looking terrified at this point. Sayori gives her a reassuring squeeze and I lean over, whispering into her ear. You got this, Yuri. Just pretend like it's only me, Natsuki, Sayori and Monica. I... I can't do this, Salsar. Yes, you can. I believe in you. I've seen how passionate you can become when you talk about portray of Markov. I love that. I love seeing that side of you. Besides, like you said, this club could be the perfect place for any of these people. We just don't know it yet. She swallows nervously, nodding at my words. Okay, Th thank you. She rises to her feet. Oh, I I'm getting nervous even. She rises to her feet. Poem clasps uh, firmly to her chest, avoiding eye contact with everyone as she walks up. Her eyes flick up to glance uh, at the classroom when she gets on stage, although she quickly ducks her head back down to look at her poem on the podium. This this poem is titled After Image of a Crimson Eye. Her voice quivers as she starts, but unlike her recitation a few days ago, the meek and trembling version of Yuri remains well into poem. She determined and determinedly forges ahead, but I can tell that she's not enjoying it in the slightest. She's doing good though. Uh, I really hated these kind of things when I was a kid. I was so nervous. So, I mean, panic attack nervous. But I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Uh, the rest of, of the classroom momentarily subdued by Monica's words, soon begin to grow louder again. After a few lines of her poem, they are even more unruly than before. The crinkling of wrappers fills the air, and at a few points, Yuri is almost drowned out by others. Oh, come on. Catch a few people getting up and leaving in the classroom, and by the slight hitch in her voice, it seems that, that Yuri's seem seen them as well. Her eyes stay glued to her poem now. It looks like she's trying her hardest to ignore everyone. One boy quietly wolfs, wolf whistles at Yuri, causing her to jump and lower her... <laughs> this is messed up. She's practically shaking like a leaf. This is absolutely disgusting behavior and I open my mouth to say something. Suddenly Natsuki stands up, a loud scraping noise from her, pushing away from the desk, draw the attention. Uh, drawing the attention of the students. Can you all just shut up? I'm really freaking sick of this. How can you all, you guys be so rude? We're trying our best to show you something amazing here and you're just going to stomp all over our hard work like that? Unbelievable. Can't even understand how people can be so arrogant and <clears throat> it's just plain terrible. I didn't want to interrupt you, Yuri, but I can't stand it anymore. You idiots might oh. <laughs> you idiots might as well leave if you aren't even going to pretend to pay attention. There's complete silence for a beat. Who whoa. I only came for the food anyway. Let's go guys. <laughs> I'm getting upset myself. Once this boy speaks up and begins to lead her his friends away one by one. More students start to follow them out of the door. I throw a panicked look over to Monica, who's holding a strange, stiff expression on her face. Looks like she's struggling to stay calm for everyone. After a few moments, there's barely anyone left. Yuri, meanwhile, quietly begins speaking again, but her voice is barely audible. So just a stifling silence accompanying her words. When she finishes, a weak, 
smattering of applause sounds from the few who are left. She unsteadily steps down from the stage, a blank look on her face. She won't look at any of us either, I'm worried about her. Uh, okay. Marika's voice cracks as she speaks up. She's still trying her best to see, see us through this. I don't think any of us could have predicted that it would be turned out this way. I mean, they did their best and people are awful sometimes. That's life, unfortunately. I like that the music is more of a... You hear the sound of it? it? Sounds a bit out of tune, a bit of creepy. Thank you, Yuri. You did wonderfully. I'm sincerely sorry for all of the disruptions and sheer and arrogance you have had to endure. Those ki kind of kinds of people really are the worst. To those who are left, I want to thank you all for staying and apologize as well. This is definitely not a uh, normal occurrence for the literature club, I assure you. Well, let's finish this off with Salsa then. <laughs> we are last. Uh, with a heavy heart, I slowly get up and walk on to the stage. When I get to the podium, I'm appalled by the sight of the classroom. Candy and cupcakes wrappers are strewn across the floor, and cloth cards uh, lay tossed about, with many of the cards now featuring shoe prints over them. So disrespectful. Remnants of goodie bags are left ripped apart on desks. Even the kanji curtain looks tangled up and messy. The only students left are those who waved to Monica at the beginning, so I guess those are her friends. Those are the only ones who are still supporting us, in a way. This is what Yuri had to see when reciting her poem. No wonder she didn't want to look up and face these people. Can I really do this now? I missed reading that last thing of... Uh, how were the other able to, artists able to finish their poems? I look at the clock, only t uh, 20, uh, 10, 10, 20. Has it really only been 20 minutes? Taking a shaky breath, I begin to speak. Hi, hi everyone. I'd like to take a second to apologize as well, both to those checking out the club today and to those who are already in it. But despite everything that's happened, I can say that I'm glad I joined since I got to meet so many amazing people. I believe that you guys will love it as much as I did too. Anyhow, I hope you'll enjoy or enjoy acquainted with the night. I start reading and am struck once again by the beauty of the poem. The loneliness and the isolation conveyed so accurately, I can relate to a lot of these feelings. I won't be as good as the others uh, at reciting, but I can only hope that I'll be able to do the poem justice. Thoughts of doing both the poem, poet and the club proud strengthen my spirit, and I manage to fight through the depressing mood. The quiet of the classroom suits the lines of the poem well, and my recital seems to, be, to fly by rather quickly. Excellent performance, Elsa. What a great way to round off the event. As I step down from the stage, Monica stands up and addresses the room. Thank you all for coming and staying. I really appreciate, I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. That's it for the scheduled recitations, but you guys are free to stay, stay and hang out if you want. There's an awkward silence for a moment. For a few moments, then the remaining students start to stand up. There we have one of the girls, Chiori. Uh, I have no idea what I gave her voice <laughs> in the beginning of this series. Hey Monica, and uh, you too Zalsar. I didn't know you were in this club. The girl standing uh, before us is actually my home room's class representative, Shiori. Given that both she and Monica are class reps, they're probably friends, yeah. Yeah, I only joined about a week ago, so... I see, I see. Yep. Hey, the way you guys were treated was seriously awful. It's fine, thanks for staying. E either way, sorry about everything, Monica. I'll check out the club sometime. Okay, cool. She gives us a small... Com oh, these words. 
commiserate commiseratory smile and I'm torn between wondering whether everyone's pitying us or sympathizing with us. They all start to file out the, fill, file out the classroom after a few more goodbyes. Monica keeps a strained smile plastered on her face. Meanwhile, Yuri has her head buried in her arms on a desk. Oh, poor Yuri! In contrast, Natsuki is staring straight ahead, gritting her teeth, and Sayori looks down at her desk at the spot on the uh, varnished wood. So I guess things will really take off now after the festival, because before this it was quite similar to the main game. To say there's a tension in the air would be a massive understatement. It's a silence in the room made worse by the sense of awkwardness. No one knows what to say. No one expected the festival to end this way and the impact is hitting us all. So... That could have gone better. My attempt at humor falls flat and I immediately regret speaking. Natsuki gives me a dirty look, but Nats Sayori smiles uh, wanly. Meanwhile, it looks like Monica's face has finally fallen. Oh. I don't understand. Why did we go so wrong, guys? We didn't go wrong. We did great. We spent so long preparing for this, and after all our efforts, for the first time, the outgoing confidence Monica always seemed to radiate has snuffed out. She clearly cared a lot about this event, and I feel awful for her. This is getting, this is, the video is getting dark. <laughs> I would like to let uh, I, I would I would like you to tell me in the comments down below your uh, feelings towards poetry and poems. What do you think about poems? Do you have any uh, favorite ones? And yeah, yes, tell me what you think about poems and give me tips if you have any uh, beautiful ones you want me to check out. Um, I think poetry can be a powerful tool to express yourself. I really do. I know I don't get it either. I thought you guys all did, all did such a good job as well. The decorations, the recitals. I'm sorry, Monica. Don't worry about it, Salsa. It's not like it's your fault, after anyway. It's no one's fault. We did great, and we couldn't predict this. She smiles weakly at me. Glancing around, I notice that Yuri and Natsuki seems... Uh, Particularly upset, with Yuri looking absolutely dejected and Natsuki steaming mad. Oh no. This is your fault, Monica. I told you this was a stupid idea. None of us were even the com that comfortable with doing it in the first place. Now look where it's landed us. Excuse me? My fault? You all agreed to do this. Pardon me for thinking it would actually go well. What's wrong? What's so wrong about that? You only agreed to do it because you felt like you were forcing us. I was really hoping this wouldn't happen. Given everyone's, everyone's low moods, an argument is the last thing we need. I didn't force anyone, Natsuki. You know how much this club means to me. I was just excited to show that we have what we have to the rest of the school. Yeah, because that was such a good idea, wasn't it? I'm really starting to get sick of your constant sarcasm, you know? Why can't you just be post being positive? Try, try being positive for once in your life. Gee, it's funny you should say that, because I'm really starting to get sick of your self-righteous know-it-all attitude. Oh, this is breaking the club apart. Why are they hating on Monica? She... Yeah. We told you this was a bad idea, but no. You just had to insist in this, on this, even though no one was happy with it. It was for a reason. Like, look, look at how much Salsa enjoys in it, it, it here. Is it really so unreasonable to think that we could have found someone else like him? Or is that just too positive for you to even phantom? This is awful. 
the other students were bad enough, but now Monica and Natsuki are going to each other's throats. Look at how badly everyone was how badly everyone was humiliated. How inconsiderate all of those those She struggles for a moment, her anger is inhibiting her ability to speak. Those a-holes were to all of us. They didn't give a damn about anything we had to say. What did that one prick say? Was only there for the food, we're here for the food. All of that hard work just for that? Nothing? She angrily kicks on one of the desks. That the loud noise jolts Yuri, who looks up with tears in her eyes. Please, please, Nazi, can you calm down? Don't tell me you're t taking her side, Yuri. You had to experience the worst of it. I don't get why you're not mad either. Natsuki, there's no point in being angry at Monica. She didn't want this to happen. She had no idea people would react like this way. It's bad enough that the students were rude, and I really don't like fighting inside the club itself. Yeah, yeah, but if Monica just listened to us when we said we weren't comfortable with the whole idea, this would have never happened. Monica sighs. This is the kind of conflicts she generally leaves for Sayori to deal with. But in this case, Sayori looks too distraught to intervene. Look, what you're not understanding is that sometimes you just have to take risks. Sure, this didn't go so well, but there was always a chance of it being wouldn't it wouldn't have ended like this if we could have had new members. She turns to me. I mean, you of all people can understand it's that the best, right, Salsa? You made the choice to come here, look how much you enjoy it. Oh, don't you try to suck up to him, Sal Monica. <laughs> Face it, you never listen to us, your club members, and or take our opinions into account. Tell me, I'm not the only one thinking that, Salsa. Oh, I don't want to get drawn into this agree uh, argument. Yeah. I really don't want to do this. I desperately look at Yuri and Sayori, but both look too upset to want to get involved. The thing is, yeah, Monica can be a bit harsh, but we wanted to expand the club. And part of the club agenda is to uh, be able to express ourselves and share our poems with more people so I'm gonna go with Monica here tell me in the comments do down below what you picked something tells me this is going to make me very unpopular with Natsuki I brace myself for what's going to come next Natsuki come on you know better than I uh, that Monica loves this club it's only natural she want to share it with the rest of the school Seriously? You're actually taking her side? Can't believe this. No, it's not like that. I'm not taking her side. It's just... Just what? It's exactly what you're trying to do, Sasa. So don't try to backpedal. Natsuki, that's not what he's, he's trying to say. He just... Of course you're dumping it to his aid. Shut up, ma... Oh. Monica looks furious. And for a moment, I think Natsuki has finally gone too far. She closes her eyes and takes a deep breath, if evidently trying to contain her anger. Jeez, Natsuki, don't you think that's a little out of order? You didn't have to shout at her. What would you know? You haven't even been here for five days. Why is everyone making me out to be a bad guy here? Remember when Monica said we, she'd make sure people weren't going to be rude during her performances? Yeah, she can't make sure of that. I mean, people are people. Wow, congratulations. She sure did a fantastic job with that. I mean, it's not like every, anyone wolf whistled at Yuri or anything. Was it? Some enforcer you were. Her bitter sarcastic tirad. Tirad. Uh, continues on, each point worsening the atmosphere. I'm the only one who can see this for what it is. Just Monica trying to use the club to boost her popularity. I don't think so. No, 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 no. <clears throat> and Natsuki's voice is killing me. 
And it sickens me. You think we're all just put some sort of pawns for you? Explains why you would you didn't even consider how reluctant we all were to do this. Why you let everyone just walk all over us? She tried to stop them though. Natsuki, you were just being ridiculous now. Why would I want to hurt all of you, us? It's not exactly been easy on me either. Natsuki lets out a snort of derision. Q, what would you of all people know about life being hard? <laughs> Monica blinks, looking like she's been slapped. It's easy for you, Monica. With your role as a queen of this school, everyone liking you. All that crap. You have such a perfect life all and all. Never having to defend your interest, never having anyone ridicule you for things you like. I share classes with those assholes, you know. You can bet these they're gonna have a lot of fun telling everyone else about, about how much of a loser we all are. And guess what? It's all because of you. I can practically hear the venom dripping from her words as at this point. It's absolutely horrible. Face it. Sayori would be a better president than- Oh. And with that, a sinking silence falls onto the rooms once more. But this time, it's a million times worse. The fire in Natsuki's eyes is blazing and quiet sobs, quiet sobs can be heard from Yuri. Sayori is miserably hugging herself, looking completely lost for words. Monica is wearing a stony expression on her face, looking both enraged and heartbroken. The whole club waits for her reply to the bombshell Natsuki just dropped on her. But without a word, Monica turns on her heel and walks out of the door, the impact of Natsuki's word hanging in the air behind her. No one knows what to say. For a few moments, the heavy silence remains. That's gonna save. Wow, this really broke the club. We all exchange looks. Yuri is meekly wiping her eyes on her sleeve and Sora is standing around awkwardly. Natsuki is on her on the other hand, is refusing to meet anyone's gaze. She went way too far. She looks like she's regretting her words a little bit. Guys, please can we make sure this never happens again? It was awful. That was horrible to experience, to say the least. Without Monica to restore order and keep things going, the club suddenly feels very aimless and disorganized. Natsuki, I know you're angry, but can you please find Monica and apologize? But please, I know you're feeling a bit guilty over what you said. After all, you were a bit mean. Natsuki grumbles something under her breath. Now it's okay, I'll go and find Monica. No offense, Natsuki, but I don't think she's particularly want. She particularly want to see you right now. Vince, at the words left, leave, uh, as the words leave my mouth. That's probably a more diplomatic way of saying it. Natsuki glares at me. Fine. As I turn to leave, a, a silently motion to Yuri and Sayori to try and talk to Natsuki. Sayori nods and Yuri nervously swallows. Now, where would Monica go? She would probably want somewhere uh, quiet where she could be by herself, right? Which rules out the classrooms, the courtyard and the cafeteria. The only two places coming to mind are the girls' toilets or the rooftop. Well, I'm hoping it isn't the girls' toilets. I make my way over to the staircase that leads up to the top, thinking about how this conversation is going to go. Will she even want to talk to me? She didn't even say anything as she left. Was she that upset? Of course. The club is everything for, for her. And when the club members try to... I mean... Natsuki was just really angry and upset, but... I know I... I can understand Monica. It's hurtful to hear that kind of thing. Yes, there's only one way to find. Yeah, let's go out.
Raising myself, I put my hand on the cold steel door handle and push the door. A shiver at the wind cuts through my blazer. It's cold and desolate place, a fitting... <laughs> yeah. I look around and there she is. Leaning slightly over the barriers at the edge of the rooftop, facing uh, turned away from me. Face turned away from me. Not the peep sounds uh, from her. Not even when the wind slams the door behind me closed. Monica? I slowly approach her making as little noise as possible in some illogical attempts to not scare her away. You looked pretty upset, so I thought I'd come find you. I trail off mentally, berating myself as how weak that must have sounded. She stays completely still as I sidle up to her side, leaning on the railing so that I can see her face. I don't know what I was expected, but her expression is oddly calm. Monica, beautiful view, isn't it? Yeah, you could say that. Is that the reason you came up here? It's part of it. On days like this, the wind and the eternally stretching blue sky make me feel like I can go anywhere. It feels freeing. There's something comforting, comforting, comforting in the possibility of getting swallowed up by that blue. Being able to simultaneously take control and lose control. Monica, are you? Well, I know that you're obviously not okay, but I'm not asking if you're okay to know if you're okay. <laughs> I'm going to ask if you're okay so that you can choose to talk to me about whatever you want to. To give you an opportunity to open up. So... Are you okay? The thin smile appears on her face. Progress? That's sweet of you, Salsa. To be honest, I didn't expect you to have any tact at all. <laughs> Me neither. Did you expect that I'd be crying up here? Contemplating suicide or something? Don't worry. I wouldn't do it just because of the festival. Well, I wouldn't blame you if you wanted to cry it out. You know, I actually thought that I would cry at first. But maybe I'm all cried out. I guess I've come to terms with all the things that Natsuki said already. She says such weighty words so casually. Casually. What Natsuki said wasn't true, Monica. I think you're a fantastic president. I hasten to try to give less empty words after her. she arches an eyebrow at me. And I'm not just saying that to cheer you up either. Remember what I said to you before the festival, during your, our, your little pep talk? She faintly nods. Well, I'm going, gonna reiterate it anyway because it's important you're aware of how much I, it, how much I mean it. Thank you. For everything. Took me in when I really needed it. Remember how I said earlier that I've I've been feeling lonely? Well, that's how things have been for me recently. I haven't seen much of my parents lately and most of my days I'd spend alone. All of that changed when I joined your club. You were also friendly and welcoming. Not once did you ever turn me away because I wasn't a poet. I mean, between you and me, I know my poems weren't the greatest. You have a lot of potential, Salsa. I did like your poems. Well, I'm glad you think so, but anyway, that's beside the point. You expect accepted me for who I was and was always willing to help me. And more importantly, you created something that three of other girls hold dear to their hearts. Definitely the sign of a good president, if you ask me. Murika looks down for a moment as if composing herself, and then meets Mai with a smile. Thank you, Salsa. It really means a lot. Like I said earlier, hearing all of those from a newcomer really does make me feel like I've hit the goals I set for myself. All I wanted was to create a little haven that people could call home, no matter their writing ability. 
Well, take it from someone who joined only a few days ago then. You definitely succeeded. Also, had you not made this club, I would have never had gotten to meet Yuri Natsuki. Or been able to hang out with Sayori again. Nor would I have gotten to get to know you better either. And that would have been a real shame, eh? A playful nudge sir. Receiving a nudge back. Ugh. This past week has probably been the happiest I've ever been in a long, long time. This mod really shows you a deeper side of each character. I think it's a lovely mod so far. And that is all thanks to you. We share a smile, one that I'm now sure is completely genuine in, on Monica's part. I don't really know what to say. It's okay, seriously, I just wanted you to know how I felt. Anyway, Natsuki was a bit out of order with the words, but honestly I don't think she meant it. I guess tensions were just running really high, you know, better than I do how fiery she can be. Yeah, I know she was just really upset, but hearing those words, it, it hit pretty deep, you know. I tried telling myself not to take her words to heart because I know she just, was just upset. But it was that line about Sayori being a better president, I, I don't know why it got under my skin so much. It was just it was just spite, Monica. People say awful things they don't mean when they are upset. Sayori and, Mar uh, Sayori and Yuri are talking to her now, and I get the feeling she wants to apologize, but just doesn't know how to. Well, that that's definitely something Natsuki needs work on. By the way, thank you thank you for making the effort to find me. It really means a lot. I'm suddenly struck by the situation I'm in. Here I am, alone, with one of the most attractive popular girls on the, of the year, having a heart to heart. Probably a situation most of other guys in the school would kill to be in. My face heats up a little as I process, process the heartfelt, rather vulnerable scene we're both in. You're welcome, Monica. Nothing to thank me for. I sheepishly scratch the back of my neck. We should go and find the others, though. Don't want them to worry or anything. We stand up and make our way back to the door. I hope so. It wasn't exactly nice to be told you have a perfect life, that you will never experience any difficulties. As we make our way back to the club, I just hope Sayori and Yuri were able to talk some sense to the Natsuki. The last things we need is another argument, yeah. She's silent as we wordlessly make our way back to the classroom. <sighs> They're back! Yuri and Sayori hurry over to us, looking worried at Monica. Meanwhile, Natsuki remains standing off to the side by herself, arms folded. Hey guys, I'm alright, really. Uh, Taking some time outside helped clear my, ma clear my head, and I'm feeling a lot better now. Not to mention, Salsa was a real help too. I'm relieved. It was a frightening prospect to consider losing our club president. Yeah, now that everyone is calmed down, everyone is calmed down, we can talk things out. Natsuki, why don't you come join us? Fine. She drags her feet as she makes her way over to us. I notice Monica fidgeting with her, with the hem of her skirt, smile reassuringly at her. Okay, so I'm here. Natsuki decides to dart up to meet Monica's for just a second. So, <clears throat> it's an awkward silence. I think what Natsuki means to say is that she just said all those th things in the heat of the moment. A crime of passion, as it were. Jeez, can I speak for myself, okay? <laughs> she says that, but... Right, that's gonna get it over with. <coughs> what I wanted you <coughs> to say was that I didn't mean it when I said that you were a bad president. I mean, is it pretty clear that you were you care a lot about the club? Sayori nods vigorously at her, at her egging her on. 
It's just that those jerks pissed me off so much that I blurted out the random things and needed to vent. Well, I won't lie, it does seem like you're always get special treatment because you're so popular, Monica. But then again, I wouldn't know what you have, have to go through. You're on a totally different level from the rest of us. Natsuki. Anyway, that's all I guess. I've always seen you as a friend and hope you'll still be able to see me as one too. There's a tension in the air once again and we anxiously wait for Monica's response. Natsuki shifts back to and forth on her feet looking for... Like, look, she almost uh, wants uh, to run away from the scene. Thank you for sharing, saying that. I'm not going to lie either. Your comment doubtly, doubting my presidency hurt. Is this not true though? <laughs> like a Sayori standing there cheering them on. Yeah, you brought us all together. Yeah, introduced us to the world of poetry. I agree. It's an amazing feeling to be able to talk to like-minded individuals. Yeah, as far as the president goes, we could definitely do worse. As what, uh, so what if you nudged us in, to the festival? I guess it's only normal for the president of all people to want the club to grow. Exactly. Thank you, guys. I guess that after all that, I have no choice but to accept Natsuki's apologies. I mean, it would be really great if you could. That's certainly an understatement. We all turn to look at Yuri, surprised at the glimpse of humorous side of her. Uh, did I say something strange? <laughs> You're funny, Yuri. Come on, lighten the mood, lighten the mood. Okay, everyone, and with a catch face, catch phrase, everyone seems right in the world once again. I totally forgot to mention this, but we still need to clean everything up. I'm sure that with all of us working together, though, it won't take that long to do, to do. I'm assuming everyone's just going to skip the festival and go home after this. Pretty tired after all the stuff that just happened. As am I. Same here. I wish I could leave too, but I have a shift in my clock. Oh, wow. She's really working a lot. It's alright, though. Everyone uh, get moving so they all, you all can go home. We want to start cleaning up the room, myself included. Yuri and Natsuki start packing up the essential oils, the setup, and cupcake trays, respectively. Meanwhile, Sayori and Monica and I pick up everything left on the ground and desks. It's like we're erasing all trays that the festival ever happened in here. Although, I can't help but think that there's still lingering tension in the air, despite Monica's cheery expression. Yeah, it's, this won't leave too soon, you know? I have a feeling that Monica might just putting, be putting the club before herself in this case. But the only thing I can do now is hope that everyone will feel better tomorrow. It's better to be nice. It, it's, it, it'll be pretty nice to get home from school early for a change and to be able to relax. Although now I think about it, I really only have anime and video games to look forward to. That's good enough sometimes. Because that's that everything that's happened today is going to be plaguing my mind tonight. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this was a heavy episode, but really, really good. Really, really good. There we go. Stop. Next morning, we're gonna save. And that will be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment and tell me in the comments down below what you thought about this episode. And as I said before, your uh, feelings towards poetry and poems. And I'll see you in the next part rather soon. Stay awesome. To the <coughs>